Hi everyone, this is Jill Celeste from the Celestial Marketing Academy, where I teach entrepreneurs all they need to know about marketing so they can become the director of marketing for their business. Today I wanna to talk to you about when people unsubscribe or unfollow you on social media. For some entrepreneurs, this is a real stressful time and in today's video strategy, I'm gonna to talk to you about why not to stress about people unsubscribing or unfollowing you. So here's the first thing I really wanna emphasize. If someone unsubscribes from your email list or they decide to unlike your Facebook page or not follow you on social media, that person is actually doing you a favor. I know that sounds really weird, but here's the thing. That person has gotten information about you and has made the decision that you are not his healer, that you are not the ideal, he is not your ideal client. And that is a huge win for you because then you can focus your message on to the people who really want to hear from you. So if you notice someone unsubscribing or unliking your page or unfollowing you on Twitter or whatever the case may be, here's what I want you to do. I want you to raise your hand and I want you to go like this. Wish them well, send them love, wish them well, send them on their way because they are not your ideal client and they have done you a huge favor by opting out of your social media in your email. Now, here's the thing. You have to kind of watch the unsubscribes and the unfollows because if there's a mass exodus, if a lot of people are leaving all at once, then that's a trigger that there's something wrong with your online marketing and it's time to take a quick assessment. So for example, if you send out an email and a lot of people unsubscribe, an unusually high number, then this may be an opportunity to look at that email, check out the subject line, check out the content of what you've written because it's the people are telling you that they don't like it. So make adjustments, learn from that so your future communications is much better. A thing to also know that if you use email marketing to sell, it is very normal that after you send that email with the promotion or offer, people will naturally unsubscribe. They love getting your free stuff, but sometimes as soon as you start to sell to that person, they feel very um, put off or maybe they just realize, oh, this isn't the person for me and they unsubscribe. So don't stress about those. You can also check out your Facebook insights because it'll tell you on days, there's actually a graph, and it'll tell you days that people have unliked your page. And you can go back to your post for that day and see if maybe there was something amiss, you know, maybe something a little controversial or just something that wasn't in alignment with your brand. So use that information to make better posts on Facebook. Another thing I wanna tell you is if you see a mass exodus of fans on Twitter, it actually may not be your fault at all. Periodically, Twitter will scrub out spammers. There are tons of spammers on, on Twitter and they follow people almost errantly and all at once Twitter will just purge them from the system. One, one day I looked on my Twitter account, I had lost 100 followers. I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened? But it was because of this purge. So if you see a mass purge on Twitter and your numbers go down, there's nothing you can do. And actually Twitter just did you a huge favor. So don't stress about those as well. The thing to always remember about your list and about your social media followers is it's really about the quality of your fans, the quality of your email subscribers, and not the quantity. You always are trying to attract your ideal client, and that is not everyone. So having a, a, a strategy where you're trying to collect email addresses isn't always gonna work for you because a lot of those people will naturally fall off. If you focus instead on a strategy of only attracting your ideal clients to your email list and to your social media, you'll see a lot less of those unsubscribes and those unfollows. So hopefully these tips will help you kind of get in the right mindset about when people unsubscribe and unfollow you from Twitter. Wish them well, say thank you for being with you on that journey and wish them well on their journey as they go on further and continue to look at your marketing to make sure you are sending out the right message to connect with your ideal client. If you need additional marketing assistance, please head over to my website at jillceleste.com. And until next time, here's to your marketing success and have a great day.